Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is episode 7 of the Yugoslavia Let's Play. Yesterday we invaded Greece as you can see and we own basically all of it now. Though the Turkey is trying to take my land here. In Crete, I'm definitely going to ask for that. No way I am uh, letting that pass. I had it in the first game that I played Yugoslavia in and I'm gonna have it again. I don't care. Anyway, we got a huge economic boost, uh, 4,400, almost 4,500 money every single hour. Turkey is in our coalition now though, but still, I don't really care much. Egypt is here with a pretty powerful fleet fighting uh, the UK, it seems. That's pretty interesting, I think they're gonna get uh, their ass beat. Maybe, yeah, they probably will, as you can see, seems like it. That's pretty interesting. Front port styles, we mostly built up some industry and uh, captured some provinces and uh, built a tiny bit of units, nothing serious, only those heavy tanks, probably. And we actually have loads of food now, I think we got loads of resources from uh, capturing Athens. So we're gonna be building up even more. Now I'm actually gonna start uh, militarizing a bit more, we're gonna build up Zagreb, Zadar and uh, the rest that we need to build up. Sarajevo is already going to level 5, Belgrade already is, let's upgrade to level 4 tank plants, so, so, so make even more heavy tanks, so, so research heavy tanks level, well we already are researching level 2 heavy tanks, so today we're going to research level 3 interceptors. Other than that, industry seems pretty good, we're gonna level this up to level 3, uh, Dubrovnik is leveling up already, I'm gonna schedule a level 5 because I have high command currently, well, I probably will forever, but yeah, I'm gonna build these two cities up as well, so there we go. And that's gonna be it for industrialization, we should probably start building some more units, so I will make some uh, infantry. That's gonna take far too long, but doesn't matter, let's at least start. We have all the units here, so we're gonna put them on the Romanian border soon, we're gonna have to upgrade them as well. We are one of the most dreaded nations as you can see here, and I'm gonna try to find the Greek war. I'll have to go to day 6 it seems, and here it is, uh, 15,000 for them, 6,000 for me, that's pretty good I think, I think so. I'm also destroying these Italian ships near uh, Greece. After I destroy these I'm gonna send the... Uh, these 14 units over to the Romanian border. I'm also gonna send the rest over here because Romania is active now as well. Holy hell, our economy is insane though. You can see that, uh, yeah, damn, 20,000 metal per day. Same with oil. We are doing extremely well on economy as you can see, building up insanely quickly. So, well, I mean, we have pretty good levels and all of that now. Just gonna have to build up production since that is really, really lacking. But yeah, after we are done with that, then we are good. So there is also recovering morale, so food production is back on the rise, 490 per hour, which isn't that bad. It's pretty good, I think, so far at least. We're gonna try to get that up to 700, probably. Anyway, there's the units coming here. I'm, uh, As I said, I'm gonna send these units up to the Romanian border later, because they are fighting currently, the Italian navy, that is. I'm gonna send this to Crete, like over here. And uh, if you look here actually, we have 120 units as you can see. So that is great, that's amazing. We had like 70 a second ago. We also have less units because we lost a lot, but that doesn't really matter currently. We're going to level them up and then build a giant, giant army. That's the plan at least. Turkey is now focusing on the Middle East, seems like they're going after Iraq, which I think they should be able to win. However, their army is still quite weak, it seems. Definitely not very strong, something we could beat. Or at least in a couple of days once we upgrade and all. We're not gonna fight them, but yeah, we could definitely win. It seems like their army ain't that strong. We also have the upper hand on economy, I believe. Especially already. Day 6, they actually had a stronger economy, but now I think we have, since we got all of Greece and are heavily industrializing. Especially with the build up of Zadar, which is being built back up. Anyway, Poland has basically fallen to Germany and the USSR. Uh, Sweden is surprisingly still alive. Taking back some provinces, they might be able to win in the long run, but I still think that's very unlikely. France over here is attacking the Netherlands and is winning. They also attacked Spain and are, uh, well, basically own all of Spain, but by this point, they also own basically all of Italy, so they are very strong. 410 points. 
Of course they start with a lot as well, but still, that's pretty good. They're also attacking Portugal, so I think France will be like very strong in this game. Like look at all those wars. Man, that's a lot. Anyway, South America, well Brazil is active, Argentina is active as well, uh, Argentina is taking out Bolivia actually. Mexico is inactive now, unfortunately, at war with Guatemala. And uh, Japan still active, doing the casual, raping the Chinese. They're also uh, invading the Philippines and have taken two uh, American islands here in Hawaii. The US also have, has given San Francisco and uh, Los Angeles to Mexico and uh, Seattle to Canada. As you can see, they aren't at war and uh, both Canada and Mexico are inactive, which is just really confusing. So I don't know what happened there. Also Australia took out uh, the Dutch out of New Guinea as you can see and also out of mainland Australia which they were in uh, just yesterday. Other than that, well, Persia is still expanding here. Turkey is going to invade Iraq as you can see so yeah I think they're going to win pretty easy. And in general this is about what's happening as you can see Argentina invading Bolivia and uh, all of that stuff seems like yeah, uh, the USSR doesn't have a capital for some reason, maybe Moscow fell, but I think that's highly unlikely. Maybe they moved it or something, but you can't see their name, the USSR, right? So they don't have a capital. I don't know what happened there, it is AI, so I don't think they are moved it in any way. Uh, they probably lost their capital, that's the most likely reason. They're also at the war with Germany now, as well as Finland, so that is interesting. And you can see they have no capital. If we check morale, we can see, well, they shouldn't have lost their capital. They only lost a couple of provinces here on the Polish border, but uh, not much more, so that's uh, weird. It's weird, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, we are done with everything, just about. We're getting our units over here, preparing for the war. We're going to mostly upgrade our units tomorrow and uh, prepare for the war with Romania. And after that, you know... We'll probably invade them in a couple of days, I guess we'll see what's going to happen. Anyway, then I will uh, end the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed Francis invading Ireland. And yeah, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and... Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and click the like button. You can also subscribe if you like my channel and enjoy my content. So anyway, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow as always. And yeah, see you guys then. Good.